the amount of sense to adjust your size. That's the only way to ride, brother. The only way to ride. <laughs> you got me a round ball, baby. Okay, so I'm standing here with Bill Thompson. He's new to our group. You got this, we think it's a wax stick. Full Liberty 1820. It is a coin and it is silver, folks. I wonder if that's a piece I found that came from the inside of the sheet I can guarantee there's something there. Alright, so uh, I'm here with Alan again. He finds him another amazing bullet. He's got two rings on it. Oh, 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 oh he's got silver. silver! No, it's a watch. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm standing here with John Neal. He's uh, another member of our Facebook group. Uh, he actually went on a hunt with us last time, but I was having camera issues and I didn't get to film him. Um, but he just dug a throwing horseshoe here. So we got uh, three Facebook group members here. And uh, we're going to take them around and show them some good spots to hunt. So uh, awesome. even if uh, we're not with them, they can come out here and know the places that are safe to hit. <laughs> um, so uh, let's go find some treasure. We got Larry Wilson here on a D. He's a member of our Facebook group. Just met him for the first time today. Swing the Econox 800 with six inch cord. Nice. Mike, Didn't find nothing but. <laughs> hoodoo, huh? Paper tail. Yep, hoodoo. <laughs> I just turned the camera on, everybody walked away, but I see shiny already. I think I just found <laughs> first target, first dig, and I see shiny. I hope it's silver and not a brand new plaid. But I open this hole right here, and the ground is real sandy. And uh, I seen it pop out right there. Ah, and it's a bazinga. <laughs> oh man, that got me. It was shining good on the sun. Got me a while ago. <laughs> it looked like it had that silver edge. The dirt was covered in the hole of that thing, and it just got me. And it rang up high too, like a like a silver would ring. But it's the old style beaver tail that doesn't have the braised in. At least it's in good shape. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. All right, so my daddy found something up here at the golf course. It's a uh, McGregor bag tag from the old golfing days. It's rode on both sides. Yeah, that's pretty cool, fam. Huh? Alright, so my second target, I was digging and I actually was standing in this fire ant pile. I looked down and they had covered my shoes, but they are all over the ground here. They were not happy to have me on top of their home, I tell you that. Uh, <clears throat> got Mike to extract it because he seen me dancing around over here. Decided to uh, come over here and see what's going on in the 
I think he enjoyed my misery a little bit for a second. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I pulled out this old spoon, or he, he pulled it out for me. I think it's just stainless, but it's got a maker's mark on it. Uh, I may clean this up and go eat me a bowl of cereal at the house later. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I like it nonetheless, it's pretty cool. Some folks say, if you only show the good things, you are not keeping it real. So I'm gonna address that a little bit. And uh, to me, keeping it real is a broad open statement and it depends on uh, what you're doing. But anyway, I just dug this. My third target in is a clad dime. All right, well, we'll keep pushing forward and see what else we can find. All right, folks, I'm fourth target in, and I just found, I was chasing a nickel signal because of the location we're in, uh, there was uh, activity here back in the 1940s. Um, it turned out to be a folded pull tab. Now, a broken or a folded pull tab will fool you worse on a nickel signal than a regular pull tab. Uh, would do so I'm keeping it real but in the time it took me to pull out the camera and film this I could have already had the hole covered and moving on to the next good signal uh, that's also keeping it real just keep in mind uh, the more time you spend the more time you lose hey morning guys we're back at the old air base there's Mr. Tracy there's Gene, and there's T-Hawk. But I just came up with a, uh, that hole there. Just came up with another wheat penny. And it is a 1942. <laughs> All right, folks, I did found a gutter. It's some kind of pen. Sort of looks like uh, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> he found old Nessie. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's happening, guys? We gotta call T Hawk over for this one. T Hawk, come here, look at this. Man, this stuff is so gravelly. But I just pulled this out. It is a button. Oh goodness, what kind of button is it? Oh, I think it's a general service, or not a general service, but a great seal. Great seal. Boy, that was bouncy. It was 27. Let's see what she does on there now. Let me let me hold it up. And see what she sounds like. 23, 24. Wow. Fine, buddy. Thank you, man. All right, guys. Let's keep getting. All right, folks. So let's come on the edge of this walkway here. I found my first semi gooder for the day. I hadn't found too much yet, but I'm happy with this find. Y'all know I love old keys, and uh, this one looks like it's an old Ford car key. It says Ford on the back. Alright, sweet. We'll take that. Alright, let's keep going. Well guys, I just got me a token. I'm not sure it's how old it is. It says loves Patsy and something else, but it's been up. It's got a star in the middle with a clover leaf. Four leaf clover in the middle. Yeah, it's a good luck token.
I have to get it straightened out and see what all it says. Man. <laughs> Man. She got hit with a lawnmower one time. They're made up of aluminum. I think you've yeah, got to fix it. Man, that's beautiful. All right, guys. Let's keep getting it. All right, so Alan Van Scaver, he's walking up to me right now. Hollering, he's found a gooder. This is my very first one. Very first one, huh? Oh, he found a silver Washington. 1941. 1941, man. Congratulations, dude. That's all right, there. It's 10 inches down. Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's been quite a few silvers pulled out of here. That's a good one, though. I think that's the first quarter I've seen come out of this particular location. Good deal, dude. What's happening, guys? Well, I think I just got me another silver. And it is a silver quarter. 1940. All right. That's the first Washington quarter I found. My first was a seated seated quarter all right guys let's keep getting it and it seems he has pulled out a 1943 mercury dime with a san francisco mint mark on the back very cool buddy hey congrats <laughs> Not even uh, two seconds later, from that hole to that hole, I just came out with this 1952 wheat penny. All right. Let's keep getting it. I'm hunting on top of this tree grove right here. Next to Mr. Tracy. <laughs> I just found this and rang up in the nickel range. Not sure what this is, but it is uh, definitely interesting looking. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll keep on to it. Uh, it's uh, definitely, definitely something different. Guys, boy, this was an iffy signal. I just pulled out the hole. It's about six inches down, and it is a mercury dime. <laughs> you get you one? Yeah. Cool. Mercury Dime. It was iffy too, man. Oh, my goodness. Alright, guys. Let's keep getting Alright, so I'm here with Larry again. He says he's got something that... I just wonder if you can see the... edge of it right there. Like a little silver rim. We pluck her. Sure. Oh, bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! That ain't the size of a quarter and shiny. <laughs> I don't know what is. Oh well. <laughs> wow. Darren, tough break, buddy. <laughs> That's the way it goes. You have the Equinox 800, right? Yes, I do. All right. I'm going to tell you, I'm having a very difficult time with this. There's plug number one. <laughs> yeah. There's plug number two. 
I'm going to go ahead and plug number three here. <laughs> you going for plug number three? I am. Third time's a charm, right? That's uh, either that or else three strikes you're out. <laughs> uh oh. No, that's not it. Swing this plug. It's right there. You found it? Yep, right there. You dig a little bit out of that back and down and come towards you. There you go. You should have got it just then. Yeah, come on, be a great seal button or a good silver. Had your sensitivity down, didn't you? I did. You're getting closer. Boy, that's a deep, deep that's a, thingy. That's a deep meat can. That's probably what it's going to be. No, that's pinpointing pretty. No, look at that. Yep. Yeah, the closer I get, the bigger the Maybe. pinpointer is. Yep. So, I want to count that as... Keep digging. Meat can. You think so? Yeah, keep digging. Make sure. I see some charcoal. Oh, you just hit something. Hit clay. All right, to be continued. We're back. Mikey Doug to China. <laughs> and he came out with this. Just a little a part of a lid. But you never know what you're going to get. No, and that's, you know. And it sounded too good. It did. It, it sounded like a silver quarter. Yep. Without it actually being a silver quarter. <laughs> All right, guys, let's keep getting it. We try to find these targets and keep moving until we find the gooders. And uh, that's why you don't see a lot of trash filmed on my channel. I chose my channel for entertainment. And entertainment is what I try to bring. It's not very entertaining, in my opinion, you know, to dig such crappy signals and put them on film. Uh, each to their own. Um, I know a lot of channels, you know, uh, choose different categories when they start their uh, YouTube, and that's fine, and there's nothing wrong with that. But me, I chose entertainment, and uh, I plan to keep you entertained.